Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome back to another episode of EU4 as Italy. Last episode, we kind of finished up our war here with the Ottomans. Eight, um, basically the Bosnian land up here and then Albania as well. Um, Albania is probably going to get culture converted at some point because there's no way I can make them accepted. Um, and apparently this land is Serbian and Croatian? I think all this land is still Croatian too, so if we eat the rest of the Croatian land, I think we can make that accepted. And we only have five promoted cultures right now, but we will get more, so... That's a thing. We'll also want to promote Bavarian at some point, because, yeah. There is so much here that we... Oh my... Yeah, we're definitely doing this pretty well. We've ate all the way up here. We're almost bordering Denmark, actually. I mean, that seems kind of crazy. We're almost bordering Denmark. If France is going to be stupid, I mean, we can always turn on them at some point, too. I mean, they're not the strongest nation ever. Got colonial stuff over here, but I mean, come on, when does colonial stuff ever help in wars? So, yeah, I, I believe this episode we do have planned a little bit of a war against Austria Hungary here. Um, whenever we can try to take this. Now, since Austria's Protestant, Austria, we would come into contention with Spain. And there goes our, yeah, there goes these guys. Um, here, have a general. Good job. Good job. We have, uh, we do have the military access through Hungary right now, because that's a thing. Now, who are our rivals in this? I know Ottomans is one of them still. Who are the other ones? Um, there we go. That's the tab. Spain and Russia. Russia up here. Yeah. Yeah, Russia's a beast. And then we got Spain over here, who's kind of annoying, but at the same time, whatever. Spain predated a stupid alliance with Austria here. However, if I fight Hungary, we have to deal with both France and Spain. No, go away, Saxony. Actually, you're kind of useless as an ally anymore. Um, yeah. Yeah, we might as well get rid of that relationship altogether. And we don't need military access from you anymore either. And just, just get rid of that altogether. We get a point from it. And who cares about the this because we're making so much anyways it's not even funny we're, we're trying to push through our ideas as well which is easier said than done and Saxony when we get yeah we're gonna eventually need a war there we've also got Brandenburg who needs to die at some point and if I... Right, we need... Well, actually, we don't want Brandenburg to die yet because they have core up here on center of... Thing. Yeah, they have up here on... Inst they have thing up here on institution, global trade. Right. One, two, three, four... Has last institution spawned yet? I can't remember. No, that one hasn't spawned yet because we're not quite at 1700. But yeah, I mean, that's always a potential. We can go up for those and... Who are you allied to? Just Russia. Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Russia. Yeah, that would be kind of a scary war. Uh, actually, no, we've got a bigger army than them. We've still got a bigger army than the Ottomans who have and they have still very little manpower. That's crazy.
That is really crazy. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Start getting a claim here. Imperialism, imperialism comes next tech, so that'll be that'll be nice when we get the imperialism. Because then we can don't need to keep fabricating claims on everything. Ugh, I hate fabricating claims like crazy. Because it uses up your diplomats. I mean. Get why they, that happens, but it's still annoying. Also, clergy want land. They've wanted it for a little bit. Here, have some wool. There you go, clergy. <laughs> like how it says we're still third in score, but we're we're the greatest power of the world. Or so second in diplomatic. So somebody has better alliances than us, apparently. Or actually improves relations with their allies. Yeah, France and Commonwealth together was pretty good for us, and then we just come through the middle here and eat everything. Yep. And yeah, we want to lose the admin, because it's a Diplo idea here that we're going after. And, yep, con keep, keep converting provinces to Protestant. Yeah. Yeah, Protestant is taken over the land I'm gonna be eating. Pretty much. Pretty much solidified out at this point. Austria, Verdun, Portugal. And France, because they're a stupid defender of faith, because reasons. That truce has ended, by the way. France would not get involved. France would not get involved. You know what? I think we're doing it. I think we're doing this. Because, I mean, Austria's small, Hungary... Hungary's got 43k, I mean, if I call in Commonwealth, the, oh, no, we don't want, we'd want to declare on Spain over here. Neither one would jump in to help, but, eh, we've got a big enough army, I think we can take this. Spain is the only one I'm actually worried about, and eh, they're s significantly smaller than our army, so I think we're fine. We'll obviously focus Austria-Hungary first here, so we can get this. And, yeah. Okay. And let's get a leader for you. Okay, you go there, get a leader for you. There we go. Okay, you go take that army on. You can... You a sieger, you're a one siege. You can go here... You don't have a leader. Okay, you have zero siege. You have one siege, you go there. You have one siege, you go there. We're gonna basically just focus... Focus this side of things first. And... Um... 27 ducats per month for... A 3512. Mm. Have to pay the toll cost for the. So it'd be 500 ducats. Yeah, sure. We have money. Come help us. Come help us, Austria. Bremen wants access. Yeah. There we go. Siege stuff down already this way. And actually, you go here. You go to Carnton. No, you're not a sieger. You go to Carnton. You go to Graz. Um, actually, you go to Sopron. And you go to Sopron. 
Mm, no, you're not going to do that? Okay. Never mind then. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a plantation we're building. Okay, who cares? It could finish after this war. Commonwealth has... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Commonwealth intervened on our side. Okay, so we don't need to pay the Condottieri anymore. Awesome. An intervene that actually went in favor of me. How often does that happen? Poland intervened into our side in the war. Thank you, Commonwealth. Yeah, that should definitely help us. And France dishonored, so... I think that means... Oh, France declared their own war against Portu Spain and Portugal here. They saw that and they're like, nope, not helping you in your war, but we're making our own. They decide they need to make their own war. Alright, and then we should be... Oh, we are good to go here. This is gonna be amazing. They want to get this land here. Might as well take some border stuff from these other guys. So, you know what? We need to start improving with you as well. And let's get a claim up here on on Halcher. And you can come back. Yeah, I just want something in order to be able to, like, vassalize them or something. And there we go. Oh, that's our stayed up here ready to go. And is that all three of the... Oh, yep, that's all... That's two of them in a... Or this one in a state. These two are not yet. And we're waiting for our advanced CB, so no thanks. Not yet. You... You are a three-star... You are an amazing general over here. Claims on provinces we don't own. Yeah, I'm aware. It's one fort over, two forts over here. Yeah, this land's not very easily protected. That is one thing I need to do is like put a fort up here. Although actually, we're just gonna take this fort here. So yeah, if we put like here in Raska or something. I'll block them from moving around much. There we go, we got that siege done. Let's move you down, we'll move you down here as well. You can come over here to Sundao. Oh yeah, and France is easily beating up Spain here. You go here, you go here. And then we will be ready to hit this. And there we go, that's 60k on 40. They're gonna get one extra one up oh, in that light. Okay. Can we chase them? Nope, they're gonna get a tick first. So you just go here, you go here. Teach it back for ourselves, and then we can go ahead and try to grab that fort when oh, you're done. Okay, you can you can come over this way then. Now oh, we've got this little. Okay, that little guy's already at. Oh, Verdun is already sieged fully. Um, yeah, let's just get you out of this war. I could take Shada if I wanted. Eh, I don't think we'll take that. Um, give me some more reps. Yeah, there you go, just get out. And 
who else was it kill, killed our dislock? Portugal, Spain, Austria, Hungary. Okay. Well, Austria and Hungary or Austria Hungary is gonna be out soon. There we go, got that. And we got this guy, so we're free to move in a little bit further here. And there we go, we've effectively moved in further to this. You guys go here. Valona has converted, so we are fully converted. Okay, you go here. American, you can go up here, apparently. Or not, you go over here. Yeah, mm. yeah, this is looking pretty grim for Austrian Hungary here. So Austria, will you give me that land and this land? And I can't, oh, I can't take that because it's more than a, really? So I could take those two, those three probably. Take those three in war reps. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do for Austria here. You, yeah, you're a sieger. Go over here. I think most of my leaders are siegers anymore. Yeah. They mostly siege anymore. Oh, is that... Oh, okay. Good job. You attack me at just the right point. Okay, we're gonna keep you off this direction because we're gonna head back over that way soon ish. You go there. Can you go? No, you can't go there yet. You go to Marmaros up here. And you're stuck there, okay. Yep, looks like this is going to be a full siege here. And, okay, that's admin. We're not going to do that one quite yet, just because we've got this other stuff going. You're a two-sieger, why are you not in there already? You come here. Yeah, okay. And, uh, sure. Who cares about legitimacy? There we go. There's that tech. And that gives us CB on everybody. Yep, that's everybody CB. Yep, so we can just now instantly declare war without cause of spelly. Which is the most important thing, because trying to get Casa Spelly for stuff is annoying at times. Now, Austria, you ready to get out yet? No, not yet. Really? Not yet? Okay, there goes that. There goes that fort. Let's get down here, see if we can wipe that, get in here. Yep, you're ge you're getting just slaughtered. Good job. Good job. Austria is low. Nope, still not yet. They're hiding in between all the forts here. They are totally hiding between all these forts. Hmm. Need to wait for one of them to fall. I think it's gonna gonna be this one, which actually won't really do much. Yeah. We'll just keep going. Okay, so yeah, you can move up one here. Actually, I think we're fine to move some of these armies off this direction. Towards Spain over here. Oh, Hungary, get your navy out of here. Just get out. 
thank you. And that did, like, no damage to our boats. Let, yeah, let's take care of that. Austria, you know what I want, right? Yep, you know. Okay. Thank you, Austria. Okay. Time to focus Spain now. Actually, you just all kind of move down here together. There we go. So yeah, now we've connected our land. Oh, that is a big Italy. <laughs> yep. And... Yeah, it's this little bit up here, so we'll maybe, like, focus one army up here and... The rest of it can, like, go down to actual Spain land. Like here, for instance. Oh, you're gonna... You're just gonna sit there? Okay. Good job. Good job. Your navies are too small and insignificant for me to worry about them. Yep. See? Okay, just, just go to Rome. Heal up for a little bit. Okay, and we can't really get in quite yet. Yeah, we'll do that a little bit of that. And, oh, you're mostly sieged down up here already, Spain. I see this. This is all France. Yeah, except for Luxembourg, which is me. There's that, finally. Get you uh, out of the way, and... Yeah, sure, Magdeburg, have a seat. And is this healed already? That's already healed. Okay, we'll go over here. Start doing some blockading. Actually, you know what? One of you guys can just board over here to the Belarus. So we can get that done. And then we'll probably land you back in, like, Barcelona or something. Yep. Because Belarus is our war goal here, so... We want you, for sure. What, Mercia's the... Um, it's Mercia, that's the thing, right? I think it's Mercia, anyways. Yep, it's Mercia. Okay, so we'll want that province. And then I suppose we can eat some of the coast here? Yeah, I could eat the coast. <laughs> I could eat the coast. That's too much aggressive expansion, though. Yeah, and then grab, grab one province over here in mainland Spain. Sure. Why not? Okay, and you go over here to Barcelona. Okay. Spain and Portugal are coming in. We need to be prepared for anything over here. And, oh, I have military idea group ready to go. You have cheaper regiments. Sounds good to me. And blockade. Uh, who cares? Rusalon is one. And there we go. Narb Narbonne is also one. Oh, get into that now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened there? Oh, France withdrew from it. Dang it, France. Dang it, France. Well. France has a strong core. I'm not too surprised by this. And then... Yep, that's 100k. Spain just won a battle against us there. You know what? You go here and you're gonna go to the fort when that's ready to go. Yep, go to fort. Okay, and you come down here to Gulf of Valencia. 
Okay, you're gonna start siege. Nope, you're gonna go here, actually. Um, sure. Portugal! Lose! We need to get back over here now. Um, yeah, retreat. Please. I'm gonna gather up in Girona here. Oh, well, ah, okay, that's a consolidated army. Okay, well... You're th you guys need to come down here, too. Everybody needs to get down here to Spain. Cause sheesh. Are you even one of the good guys? Yeah, you, you get this guy. If you're gonna consolidate like this, you need a good general. You need a really good general here. And you're gonna go here and consolidate, because, yeah. Yeah, we can run around with bigger armies now. Why not? Heidelberg has up... Oh, okay. Well, they're already waiting for it, so good job. Good job, guys. Okay, and that is the army. Go to print... Pure. Pyrenees, and let's see, we have a two siege there, you can take him, and you're just our support unit, I guess. And actually, you know what, we need to split 30 off of this. Eighteen of those, four, and... Right? Right, that's 30, right? I think it is. There we go. Split some of that off. And you're gonna stand here. And you're two siege are okay. So yeah, it's just now waiting for stuff to go. Lincoln and Zagreb have cored. They're already in a state, so we don't have to worry about that part. Oh, and there goes Lika. Um, well, guess you're going to be doing that for a little bit. Good job. And Croatian separatists have taken control. You can convert. Start converting, anyways. Truce of Silesia has ended. Actually, you know what? Why don't you? Yeah, you get back here and take care of that. We have plenty of army here. Really, we have a big enough army here, and that oh, that's sixty-two. Okay. And you caught the... Pff. Well, we're winning our war, at least. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, because the fort took it back. Well, okay. And you're probably ready to annex at this point? Yeah. They're ready to annex, so after this war, we'll make sure to get that done. But you know what? This war is going to have to finish up in the next episode because we are out of time. So next time we come back, we'll finish this war with Spain. We'll hopefully be able to take the center of colonialism over here for ourselves. And then just two more to go, printing press and global trade. And then what's... Th Imperialism, I think, can go to anybody, can it? think that can go to literally anybody. Where is it? Oh, here. Yeah, Rome is in Italy. 
it's not an island, it's a state. It needs to have a seat in parliament, it needs to have a university, it needs to be in Europe, development of at least 20. So yeah, it could, could potentially rise up here in Rome. And there's probably a pretty good chance of it coming up here in Rome. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.